What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be comparing the JBL Clip 2 to the Soundcore 2 and we're going to have a quick sound comparison at the very end of this video. But before we get into that, let's take a look at last week's first comment and it was by Legend ADM. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I don't know if that's an actual word. But, but he said, good video man, nice gameplay and great editing, GG. Thank you so much for the comment and feedback, I really appreciate it. And don't forget guys that the first comment of every video gets a shout out in the next video. So hopefully you guys can get first comment and let's get into this review. So today we're going to be comparing the JBL Clip 2 to the Soundcore 2. So both these Bluetooth speakers cost about $40. So we're going to be seeing which $40 Bluetooth speaker actually beats the other. And we're going to be looking at all the specs and sound quality, so if you guys want to see any of that, I would really suggest watching the rest of this video. So first, let's talk about the output power. The JBL Clip 2 only has 3 watts of total output power, whereas the Soundcore 2 actually has 12 watts of total output power, which quadruples what the JBL Clip 2 can do. So I think the Soundcore 2 is already quite a bit ahead, just in pure specs. And another thing to mention that the Soundcore 2 has 2 drivers, and each driver has 6 watts. And that's where we get the total of 12 watts of output power. So at the end of this video, I'm actually going to have a sound comparison between the two speakers. So if you guys are only interested in that, I would suggest skipping to the time right here. So after listening to both these portable speakers for a bit, I would definitely say that the Soundcore 2 has a more full sound because it concentrates more on bass. Whereas the JBL Clip 2 just seems to kind of only concentrate on mids and highs. The low end is barely even there, but I mean, that's to be expected for a tiny speaker. Even though the JBL Clip 2 is tiny, it still does have two passive radiators. They're actually a kind of weird design, and I didn't feel like destroying the speaker, but I will have an image right here. And this is basically how they had to design the JBL passive radiators, because there's just not much space to put passive radiators on this thing. On the Soundcore 2, there is just one passive radiator, but it is much bigger and it gives a lot more bass versus the JBL Clip 2. One area where the JBL Clip 2 will definitely take the win is for water resistance. The JBL Clip 2 is fully waterproof, so you can submerge it, you can take it underwater, and you'll be just fine. But for the Soundcore 2, you can't exactly submerge it, but you can get it a little bit wet. If it gets splashed, it'll be just fine. So one area where I think the Soundcore 2 definitely takes the win is battery life, because this thing has a 5,200 mAh battery, 24 hours of playtime, whereas the JBL Clip 2 only has a 730 milliamp hour battery and only 8 hours of playtime. Which to me, I was kind of surprised because this thing only has a max of 3 watts of output power. So you would think that it would still like have a long battery life, but to be honest, 8 hours isn't too much. Um, the Soundcore 2 is really nice because you don't have to charge it often. I could use it for weeks on end without even having to think to charge it, so that is really awesome. So both of these speakers are powered by micro USB and they both accept audio input, but what's special about the JBL Clip 2 is that it has its own audio cable so you can just unwrap it and you guys can just plug it straight into your phone without having to worry about carrying around another audio cable like you would for the Soundcore 2, but hey, that's why these are Bluetooth, so I don't think you'll really need to worry about that too often. So when we look at the buttons on both of these speakers, the Anchor Soundcore 2 definitely has some nice big buttons, and I've always been a really big fan of that. On the JBL Clip 2, the buttons are a little more discreet. They're kind of like indented into the speaker, so they're kind of hard to like see, which could be nice, but I prefer like big buttons, kind of like the charge and the flip. And I think I would have preferred if they just kept it that way and just had big buttons on the front of the speaker speaker, but I think having the buttons on the side of the speaker kind of makes it a little more durable and um, they're not going to get bent and fall off. Like I know some of the buttons on the charge have moved a tiny bit and I've had to move them back in place. Which sounds weird, but that can happen. But with the JBL Clip 2, it won't be happening. So I guess that's good. So in terms of mobility, I think the JBL Clip 2 definitely takes the win because it has a clip, which is awesome. And it's also way smaller and probably weighs about half as much as the Soundcore 2. I will say that the Soundcore 2 is still mobile, but it's just not as mobile as the clip because you could just literally clip it onto your pants and go. In terms of weight, the Soundcore 2 is obviously much heavier because it's about twice the size and because it has a way bigger battery. So that is gonna give it a lot more weight. And it's just also, feels sturdier. The JBL clip seems a little like light and you would expect 
a little bit more weight, but I guess that's nice because if you're clipping it on things like your backpack, you wouldn't want something super heavy. Personally, if I had to choose between the two, I would pick the Soundcore 2 because it has a more full sound and it has more bass. And personally, I love bass and I cannot stand listening to a speaker that lacks bass. So um, I don't think I would ever use the JBL clip, but I know a lot of people who would love this speaker just because when they go on hikes, they could just clip it on their backpack or something like that. But uh, once again, it's just really preference on this one. So overall, the JBL Clip 2 has a few advantages like mobility and the audio jack cable. But other than that, I would say that's about it. I think for the price, you're definitely better off getting the Soundcore 2 just because it gives you more for the price and it just sounds better. So next up, I'm going to play a sound test just to kind of give you guys an idea of what they both sound like. And I know this isn't the best way to test these speakers because my equipment isn't that amazing, but I'm just doing the best sample I can with my equipment. So I hope you guys find this helpful. If you want to purchase any of these speakers, make sure you go down to the description below and I'll have both of these and links that'll help support my channel. And also, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below. And once again, just comment down below if you guys are trying to get first comment for the shout out. And anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Reality. It is touching the truth.